baseball, a sport, an art form, a piece of culture so important to us, we named different sex things after it. It's amazing. It's real. We all remember where we were when we seen our first base and our first ball. It's instantly recognizable. It feels real and human. We connect to it so well. And that is why it's used in film so much. It's something familiar, something for us to connect with, a jumping off point into amazing adventures, trouble with the curve, Moneyball, League of Their Own, High School Musical 2. It's even in Unbreakable, I think, possibly. It doesn't matter. The best use of baseball in film to tell a story is Twilight. The baseball scene from Twilight is film at its finest, cinema at its highest. The baseball scene from Twilight is the only reason that movie won an Oscar at the MTV Movie Awards. It is majestic. Oh what, you, you want a little video essay, like cute little video essay on little women, huh? No, 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 no. What, something about Parasite's beautiful cinematography? Get the fuck out of here with that. Here we talk about really important things. The baseball scene from Twilight. Since Twilight's release in 2008, this one scene has defined cinema. Everything about it, from its visual style, its music choice, the actors' performances, it's all spectacular. Are you really going to look me in the eyes and tell me? This is just another pointless scene in an otherwise terrible movie. How dare you? I scream into your face. I turn around and storm off because you, my dear guy, are wrong. I want to break down why this scene is so amazing. It takes place at a pivotal moment in the story. Bella and Edward are done with their awkward staring shenanigans and are now dating but their union is causing tension for pretty much everyone else. Charlie doesn't really know how to feel about the fact that his daughter is dating the weird emo kid, and the Cullens family are kinda mixed about the whole dating your potential dinner. This scene also adds a moment of levity to this whole film. It gives us a moment of just happiness to just sit and enjoy a game of baseball. Also, it uh, gives us a closer look at the Cullens family. Until now, all we've really known about them is what Bella has heard from Edward, or from her friends at school, or like just rumors around the town. But now we actually get to see them as characters and see them interact with each other, see their relationships with each other and their attitude towards Bella. It does also give us a chance to see their superhuman abilities. You know, until now, all we've really seen is uh, Edward with his, you know, fake vomiting. And then like the, the stopping a car with his hand and the disappearing reappearing trick and like the whole reading people's minds thing that kind of gets glossed over. Having them play baseball is such an ordinary, well recognized, simple thing but with the knowledge that they have superhuman abilities really puts into perspective how superior they are to us and to Bella. At any moment, any one of these could end her existence. Bada bing, bada boom, your girlfriend's in a tomb, Edward Cullen. All that I've mentioned so far are feelings, emotions, what the scene is trying to transmit to us. But how do they do it? How do they go about giving us this information? The scene is established by giving us some wide nature shots, showing us where the scene will take place, visually feeding us information. Once we have an understanding of where the scene takes place, we cut to some closer angles on the actors, honing us in to where the story is happening. The sound design for the scene is made up of hard contrast. We have the dull, lifeless vampires and Bella with their kind of minimum noise and kind of moving around, not, not really making much sound. Contrasting with the loud, aggressive, natural sounds of water and thunder. We get this masterful shot establishing which team will be hitting the ball with the bases to remind us that baseball is about to be played. This coupled with the soundscape moving from a natural sound to supermassive black hole performed by Muse gives us an indication of where the scene is heading. The opening guitar riff is used to bring us into this world of heightened senses. Every shot in this scene moving forward except those focused on Bella are trying to get you to experience the moment as a vampire. The zooms, pans, dutch angles, flashes, quick cuts, swooshes and whooshes 
all work together to bring extra life into this scene. Director Catherine Hardwick and cinematographer Elliot Davis create some truly breathtaking shots throughout this whole sequence, most of them used to show off a vampire's power. The single greatest example of a shot establishing a vampire's power is this. Ashley Green as Alice doing the high leg ball pitching. Alice, apart from being the gay awakening of every lesbian born after 1997, is also subjective precognition, has subjective precognition. That was not a real sentence, I am aware. I just felt obligated to include the fact about the gay stuff because every woman I know who likes women mentions Alice from Twilight as a first. I'll probably drawing attention to it was probably worse off for me. I'm just gonna carry on like I never mentioned it. This is, I've, fuck. Without fail, every shot in this scene does something important. It establishes the relationship between two characters, shows off a vampire's power, or most importantly, drives the plot forward. Now as beautifully shot as this scene is, I think it's important to talk about the dialogue and its delivery. There isn't much talking going on here, it's a good old game of BB ball, you don't talk that much during it, but there are a few bits of dialogue in here that I think are really important to talk about. Lines like, I see why you need the thunder. And other more curious choices such as, My monkey man. Are said with such passion and such good acting that they sell us on the fact that these are real characters, real people we should care about. For me, there's no greater example than this than Alice's signature line, Stop! Stop! as in cease to do what you are currently doing, but also said with a soft st sound, a sa, sob, showing us that Alice, this normally chill relaxed character, has been shaken to her core. The acting elevates the dialogue into something more than it could ever hope to be, but if the dialogue wasn't there, then the actors would have nothing to work with. It's a beautiful dance between the written word and the actor's own interpretation. The baseball scene ends when the three antagonists arrive. The tone shifts from light-hearted with eerie undertones to straight-up menacing. It's a very subtle change that happens over a 30 second period. Safe space here, danger around every corner here. Editor Nancy Richardson um, creates a lot of tension in this scene with very few shots. In fact, she kind of keeps the whole movie together with the editing. The editing on Twilight elevates it from a kind of meh film to an outstanding piece of cinema. The more the Twilight Saga went on, the more it started to look and feel and sound like a cheap parody of itself. All sense of unique storytelling techniques or personal vision seemed to like disappear as the franchise went on. I'm not going to tell you the first Twilight movie isn't a little bit silly, cause it is, but they got their budget cut weeks before they started filming. And they accomplish so much, it's, it's spectacular. An all sense of personal identity for the franchise got lost somewhere between Eclipse and New Moon. And that's really sad. Like you might not like their style and the way they made the movie, but it's unapologetically itself. I would rather watch the Twilight movie, the first one, than any other one in the franchise, cause at least it's something. It's not a bland, corporate product. The baseball scene from Twilight is the culmination of every bizarre choice this movie makes. And you're either in it 100% or not at all. And I am in it 100%. I love it. It, it makes me smile. It makes me sad. It, it, <laughs> it makes me feel emotions I don't understand that no other film will ever make me feel. You may not like it, but that doesn't make it bad. You cannot look me in the eyes and tell me that this is anything less than art. Yeah, Twilight.